Hi, welcome to Solving the Puzzles of Money. Today we're going to talk about a financial concept called the Rule of 72. Now the Rule of 72 is just a simple calculation that gives you the approximate number of years that it's going to take your money to double based on the interest rate that you have with your investment. The way it works is this. If you look over here, if you have a 4% interest rate, 4 goes into 72 18 times. So if you were to have $10,000, at a 4% interest rate with compound interest, you're going to have to wait 18 years for your money to double. I don't know about you, but I don't really have that many 18-year periods in my life to sit around and wait for my money to double. At 6%, your money's going to double about every 12 years, quite a bit better than 4%. But then ultimately, if you look over here at 12%, your money's going to double every 6 years. Quite a significant difference down here at the bottom. This person ended up with $640,000. Now, based on the rule of 72, a one-time contribution of $10,000 will double five more times at 12% than it will at 3%. What we find is banks right now are giving people actually less than 4%. Most of the banks I've been looking at today give about 1%. Well, one goes into 72, 72 times. So if you put $10,000 in at 1%, you're going to have to wait 72 years for your money to double. I don't know about you, but that's not something that I would be interested in. Ask yourself this. How many doubling periods do you have in your life? Here's another thing that a lot of people don't realize. When you put your money into a bank savings account, they're giving you your 1%, or let's, let's be generous here and say that they're going to give you 4%. But what the banks don't want you to know is what they're doing with your money, they're taking your money and investing it right over here, and they're getting a much higher return, closer to 12%. So they're more than happy to turn around and give you your measly 4% back. They're making a huge profit on your money. What I'd like to see you do is invest your money yourself into the market. Get that higher rate, get the 12%, and skip the bank. Thanks for tuning in, and we're going to teach you some more financial concepts later.